Hi, I'm Ralph Bishop. Running is a wonderful baby boomer activity. Not only is it healthy for you, but it's a lot of fun participating in races, traveling to races, and just being a part of the running community. I didn't start until I was 60, and it's pretty simple to get started. Let me give you five tips to begin your running journey. What's great about running as a baby boomer, it doesn't cost a lot of money, doesn't take a lot of special equipment, it's pretty straightforward. It's kind of like shaving. Shaving is pretty simple, right? You have a razor, whatever kind you like to use, you make a couple of passes on your face, pay attention to what you're doing, don't cut yourself, and you get a great shave. So running is kind of the same way, you just need to have a simple process, be patient, and be intentional about what you're doing. So these five tips I'm going to give you kind of focus on those key aspects of running and shaving. Let's go outside and talk about them. So I'm not a lifelong runner. When I was 60 years old, I actually walked a trail marathon. I had a great experience and thought next year I would try and run it. So I started training for it. So I completed that trail marathon. I had a great experience on it with the race, but preparing for it, getting stronger, getting better at running. So I'm just an average boomer guy that was able to train and run a trail marathon. If I can do it, you can do it. And I'm going to tell you how. Let me give you five tips for that. Tip number one. Use a run, walk, run method. Big advocate of that is a gentleman named Jeff Galloway. He's a former Olympian, ran the 10,000 meter in the 72 Olympics. So he's kind of an older guy. He's kind of like me, kind of like other boomers. But he developed this process over 25 years ago. And just like it says, you run a little bit, you walk a little bit. And by taking frequent walking break, you kind of minimize fatigue and allow you to run longer distances. I'll put a link to the website down in the comment section, but visit jeffgalloway.com and learn about the run, walk, run method. Tip number two, run three times a week. Basically, this is two short runs and a long run. The short run uh, should be no more than 30 minutes. If you're just getting started, you may only run 10 or 15. I don't know, you have to decide on where you're at and what your ability is. And then do one long run. The long run is where you gradually increase your distance over time. So as you gradually increase your long runs, don't do any more than 10% a week. So if you run a mile this week, run 1.1 the following week and so forth. If you're feeling good, maybe you can stretch it out a little bit, maybe 20%. But be mindful of your body and give it the rest it needs between these runs. But gradually keep increasing. Tip number three is patience. By that I mean don't run any more than three times a week. I just told you to do three. Don't do more than three. You need to give your body a chance to rest, especially as a baby boomer. Your body needs time to, to heal and recover. So give it that time. Don't run any more than three times a week. So tip number four deals with running style. And there's really two points to this. One is do not overstride. Kind of keep your stride short. And the second point is try and land on the midpoint of your foot, midfoot. Don't land on your heel. Don't land just on your toes. Try and get that midfoot landing. Now, one of the key things to help you do that is cadence. Cadence is steps per minute. How many steps do you take a minute when you're running? Uh, the Olympians run around 180. That should be your goal. You should try and get up to about 180 steps per minute. But you may not be able to start there. Start at 160, 165, 170, and build up to that magic 180. That'll keep your stride short and make you land on the midfoot. Now, to help you do that, just download a metronome app to your smartphone. And as you're running and listening, you can hear that tick, tick, tick of the cadence and you do a foot strike every time you hear a tick and set it at 170, 175, 180, whatever works best for you. But try to get up to that 180 eventually. Before I give you that tip number five, I'd appreciate you subscribing to my channel by clicking the icon in the lower right hand corner. Thanks. So tip number five deals with being intentional. That is pick a race a few months out that you'd like to try, whether it be a 5K or a 10K or something short that you think you can achieve in two or three months and register for it and that's your goal. So be intentional about your practice, about your training, think about your cadence, think about your foot strike, uh, run those three times a week and keep increasing. And then run that race and get that success and get that medal. Most races give you a medal at the end of the race. It's kind of a neat thing to collect and accumulate, be able to show off to your friends and family as you've accomplished some races. And then where you go from there is up to you. And running long distance is really that simple. It's really not complicated. Just be patient, be intentional and have a process. So being a baby boomer is a wonderful time to start running and learning to run long distances. I highly encourage you to start and enjoy that boomer life. Live simply, live great. It's time to go run.